I'm taking a look at Shaper 3D to see if it's worth the money over Blender. So I've been fooling around with Shaper 3D for a few months now, and I found that it has some real advantages when it comes to modeling, specifically modeling technical non-organic shapes. It uses a system of extrusions, beveling, and binary modeling, which is about as close to effortless as I've ever seen. Of course there are more tools, but the real innovation is the assumption that your models start with a 2D plane that projects and intersects with other 2D planes. Blender has a similar system, but it's nowhere near as sophisticated. That isn't to say that you can't model the same way in Blender, it's just not as frictionless. One of Shaper 3D's other advantages over Blender is its use of CAD-style constraints. It's very easy to set up connections between vertices so that objects have internal and external relationships with each other. This too is possible in Blender, using drivers or maybe geometry nodes, but it would take a considerable amount of thought. Although Shaper 3D is available on the computer as well, I was using it mostly on the iPad, and being able to model on the go this way was a blast. But there's a steep price for all this, $37.99 a month or $2.99 per year. Without a subscription, you can't export to other apps, and you can only use two designs on your account at a time. Well, you can technically export without paying, but they're low quality STF files or 3MF, which are usually used for 3D printing. And you can see it turned my test object from this into this. Yuck. Even with a subscription, if you wanted to import to Blender, UV mapping doesn't come out all that great. The UVs would have to be redone in Blender. That also means you can't go straight from Shaper 3D into Procreate on your iPad. At the end of the day, I find it's a little bit too expensive for what it does for me. But if you work for a company that's willing to foot the $300 a year bill, it's a focused and refined modeling tool. Got any cool 3D iPad apps you want me to try? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.